Here's a way to add fractions without finding the least common denominator. So here we have two fractions that have different denominators. And in order for us to add these fractions, we need to rewrite these fractions with a common denominator. And to find a common denominator, we're going to multiply the value of our denominators together. So we're going to multiply 8 times 6, which we know gives us 48. So down below, we're going to rewrite these fractions with a common denominator of 48. But we need to make sure that we keep these fractions equivalent meaning that we need to do the same thing to our numerator up top that we had to do to our denominator in order to get the common denominator of 48. For the first fraction, we had to multiply our denominator of 8 by 6 in order to get 48, so we're going to do the same thing to our numerator up top. And when we multiply 3 times 6, we get 18 for the fraction of 18 48ths. Then for the second fraction, we had to multiply our denominator of 6 by 8 in order to get 48, so we're going to do the same thing to our numerator up top. And when we multiply 1 times 8, we get 8 for the fraction of 8 48 So now that we've rewritten these fractions with a common denominator, we're ready to add these fractions together here. Our denominator's value is not going to change in the answer, it's still going to be in 48, but we are going to add our numerators together here. And when we add 18 plus 8, we get 26 for the fraction of 26 48 But we can simplify this fraction here because both 48 and 26 share a common factor of 2, so we're going to divide both our denominator and our numerator by 2 in order to simplify this fraction. When we divide 48 by 2, we get 24, and then for the numerator, when we divide 26 by 2, we get 13 for the fraction of 13 24ths. And since there's no common factor other than one between both 13 and 24, we've written this fraction in its lowest possible terms. So when we add 1 6th onto 3 eighths, we get the fraction of 13 24ths when written in its lowest possible terms. If you enjoyed this video, then please smash those like and subscribe buttons. As always, Enjoy today's math journey.